in Simcoe tonight, some people are preparing to do battle over a cell phone tower in their community. As we showed you last night, one of their neighbors says he gets so sick when he's near cellular signals, he can't live in his own house. And now others are rallying around him, trying to get the nearby cell phone tower taken down. Here's Stephanie Matisse with this CBC News exclusive. A quick drive through this Simcoe neighborhood makes the message clear. About 75 homeowners have been pushing county council to move the cell phone antenna from the top of this water tower. Some of them met with CBC News to talk about their biggest worry. My house and the house of my husband and uh, my neighbours. Uh, a number of people on our street are sick. An outrageous number of people are not well on our street. Her husband lists 15 neighbours who have recently battled cancer. Breast cancer, cancer breast cancer, esophagus cancer. He admits there's no definitive proof cell phone emissions are the cause, but he says it can't hurt to limit electromagnetic signals in the neighborhood. You know, Dan can never come here. The issue came to a head when the neighbor who used to live here was diagnosed with EHS, or electrical hypersensitivity. A little dizzy, slurring of speech. Dan Curry gets sick whenever he's near cellular signals. With this tower looming over his backyard, the Currys had to leave. Also in the shadow of the tower, there's a schoolyard, a hospital, and hundreds of homes. Um, the nursing home is first, and then the hospital. Um, we feel we're facing Goliath, and we need uh, David to come forward. Rogers has a contract with Norfolk County to have the antennas here for 20 years. It's worth about $200,000 to the county. But the protesters say they should have been consulted before the antennas went up a year and a half ago. They did have some success in pressuring county council last year. Council decided to negotiate with Rogers to move the cell phone antennas. But in November, Simcoe had elections and half of the council members changed. And residents say so did the political will. The group met with the new council this summer. Council will not hear it. But the mayor cut the meeting short and called the police to break it up. He says there's no reason to break the contract with Rogers. Prove that it's a hazard but not prove it to me necessarily only. You can have to prove it to the federal government. Otherwise, if we go to court and try to uh, break the legal and binding contract and we lose, we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. In a statement, Rogers says it's being unfairly singled out and that all of Rogers' facilities across Canada fully comply with Health Canada's standards and guidelines. But this group is determined. They're going to council again this week and they're also pressing their member of parliament to do something. I also spoke with the federal government and Industry Canada said that it has tested the area and it's safe. It's going to present those findings to Norfolk County Council later this month. And of the 8,000 cell phone towers and antennas in Canada, Industry Canada said none have ever been moved because of health concerns. Now, having said that, there has been a policy change. As of January 2008, residents who live near a place where cell phone antennas will be installed have to be notified before they go up. And that wasn't the case as in this story in uh, Simcoe, Diana. And of course, this is an issue that really resonates, Stephanie, beyond Simcoe. Yeah, these, these concerns certainly go outside the boundaries of Simcoe. And so a lot of people have health concerns. And you can imagine there have been a lot of businesses that have uh, sprung up as a result. We're going to look at those businesses tomorrow and whether they're playing on fears or legitimately giving some security to concerned residents. All right. Stephanie Matisse on this. Thank you, Steph. A war of words is erupting on the campaign trail over something Dalton McGinty did during the 2003 campaign. It was on this day four years ago he signed a pledge put forward by the Canadian taxpayers.